Hi, my name is Byron Fruit with Aerotech. I'd like to introduce you to the newest member of the Ensemble Motion Control family. This is the Ensemble Lab Controller. It's a compact four-axis motion controller. It can drive up to four axes of DC brush motors, brushless AC servo motors, or stepper motors in any combination. It is a true, fully functional motion controller. It can do linear and arc interpolation, constant velocity profiling, point-to-point -point interpolation. As you can see on the front here, it's got a touchscreen display that gives you access to all of the basic functions of the controller. Running on the Ensemble right now, we have four members of the MPS stage family. These are uh, micro-positioning stages. The family consists of uh, linear, rotary, and lift stages. They all have micron-level precision, driven by DC brush motors or stepper motors. They can be stacked and configured in almost any combination for multi-axis applications. The last thing we have running on here is one of our nanotechnology stages, the ANT95. It's a stage with a linear brushless servo motor. It makes one nanometer steps, so that's a real minimum incremental motion of one nanometer, not just electronic resolution. So that's a key factor for a lot of applications in nano machining, test and inspection, and a, a whole range of applications because it combines this one nanometer step with a long travel range of up to 110 millimeters. The main touch panel screen here on the front of the lab controller has a number of tabs. You can see the main position display that shows you the status of the system overall. You can uh, enable and disable axes. You can see the status of the, the current motion. The second tab here is the run tab. You can start and stop programs. Currently there's a program running. This tab is a command line interface. Uh, you can type in immediate commands from here. The position display shows you the current position of all four axes on the system. There's a uh, fault acknowledgement screen. Currently there's no faults. Uh, then there's several setup screens for specifying feed rates and other parameters. There's an input and output display panel and a, uh, and a final status display panel. Over on the other side of the front face of the controller are uh, some hardwired keys for some of the most common functions. There's a numeric keypad, jog buttons for each axis, so it's very easy to jog axes back and forth from the front panel of the controller. The Ensemble Lab controller also comes with Aerotech's full suite of Windows applications for programming, diagnostics, and tuning. You can connect to the lab controller over Ethernet or USB. The lab controller also can be used as a node on an Epix or Tango network in a distributed control architecture. The lab controller can be programmed using Aerotech's Aero Basic programming language. You can also use languages in Microsoft's .NET framework, including C Sharp, Manage C++, uh, VB.NET, uh, or LabVIEW. It comes with a set of real LabVIEW libraries that were built from the ground up to be compatible with the National Instruments standards. One of the newest features it has is a stage self-ID feature. So when you plug in a compatible stage, the controller recognizes what the stage is and automatically configures itself. So there's no parameter setup, no tuning, you just plug it in and go. So that all adds up to a controller that you can spend less time setting up and more time working on your research. So that's the Ensemble Lab controller and our micro-positioning stages and also the, the nanotechnology stages. That's what's new from Aerotech here at Clio 2013. If you'd like more information on those, go to our website at aerotech.com.